Ahoy salty dogs, Lens Cap here, and today we're playing Star Maid once again. This is episode number nine. What is this up here in the top? The the C with the uh The C with that tells me to hit B. Does that just tell me that I'm within the range of a ship? It looks like there's mail and something else there. I don't know what those icons mean. Uh, in this episode, we're going to play with the Bobby AI module and try to figure out how turrets work. Um, and then if we can get there, we may look at drones as well. I, I think that would be something cool before we start on our next ship. So one thing that I've done uh, between episodes here is I've kind of designed like a logo or an emblem or something um, to set myself uh, to identify, you know, which ships are mine. Um, in the fleet, um, kind of like the Jolly Roger. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so there's this one that I think is five by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven by nine, which uh, which is like the big, like the full version. I may round these out. Let's see if I've got white on me. I don't, but I'm close to a. Uh, uh, this shop that let's buy let's just buy 20 of them because I don't care um, just to see what it looks like uh, with it rounded out we'll see if we like that better um, and obviously these aren't going to be permanent because uh, the the way they leave the floor <laughs> um, kind of exposed like that I'm not a fan um, but I did just want to see what it looks like rounded out um kind of makes me think Pac-Man ghost I think I like it better the other way honestly uh, I know it's a little Minecraft looking squared off like that but um, I don't know I think it looks better though that with the with the wedges makes it look more more Pac-Man ghost and less pirate skull so it is a voxel game. We can have sharp edges if we want to. Um, I also made the smaller version that you can see over there on the side of the phalanx, uh, which is what we decided to name that ship because of the two large shields on the sides of it, uh, the phalanx. Um, so, yeah, so that's uh, that's what we've kind of been working on. Um, I put some on the sides of this ship as well, um, and that looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode, though. We want to figure out turrets um, first. Now, I've done a little bit of research on this. I haven't built a turret yet. I've barely tried to place blocks. Um, and from what I can tell, somebody answer this for me if you can in the comments. Um, I bought a bunch of these, like, turret blocking, turret docking units. Those don't do anything, do they? <laughs> uh, if they do, I am not sure what they do. What we need is a rail turret access, access, rail and rail dockers, and maybe the turret docking enhancers, but uh, yeah, I, I think from the research I can tell these turret docking units, uh, they're like a throwback. They used to do something, but now they don't anymore. So what you do is we need to place down... Our, oh, let's go into build mode on this ship. Which is just like a research platform with some power. Uh, okay, so you go into build mode. And then we need to place down this rail turret docker. Now we got to make sure that it's facing up. So maybe if we are facing down, it will be easier to orient like this. We need to rotate this. There we go, like that. There we go. Now we know which way it's facing. So let's hop out of build mode, and we need to go ahead and create a new ship next. Um, so X for a ship. We're going to call this turret. Tur turter. Okay, that works. Turter test. <laughs> uh, okay, build mode in that. This one's going to need a little bit of power, but not a whole lot. Uh, it's going to need the rail docker. Now, the rail docker needs to face in the direction that we want the turret to face. So, in this case, we want it to face down uh, and forward like that. Now, we hop back in this ship, and that's all we need for the basic turret. 
Um, to dock, f to dock from what we do. Do we use the rail docker like this? Yes, we do. And then we just click on that. That's all we got to do. Okay, now we're docked. And we only have one axis of motion. So if we hop out, we can see that it's docked. It'll spin along this axis. It won't look up and down. We got to add another mo axis of motion for that. Um, but that is a basic turret. That's all basically, you know, that shoots left and right. Um in a circle 360 degrees um, okay but let's hop back into this we want to undock we'll just go ahead and undock really quickly and go back into flight mode so now we know how to dock turrets um, let's actually adjust this a little bit so that we have a little bit more clearance we'll do that and okay and then we need to put another rail turret axis. Uh, no, we need another rail docker. This time it needs to face sideways like that. And honestly, I wonder if we can just do this, uh, if we even need that power module there. Let's get our docker. Wait a minute, rail docker, there we go. And we want that to face down. And forward as such. And we'll remove these guys. Now we need our rail turret axis to go here. We want that to face us and forward. So like that. Okay, now let's hop back in this ship and hit T. And we'll dock. Okay, so now we're docked. All right, now if we hop back in this guy, we can turn, we can twist. Still no up and down, though. I'm trying to move up and down, and it's not working. So there's half of it. So now we can get out of this ship. We'll go ahead and make a new ship. We'll call this, what do we call it? Turt? Turtle? Tateel? Okay, test. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the ships are called. Okay, we're going to enter this one, go into build mode. And this one, whoops, we're floating. Let's let's fly up a little bit to get our get our grouping right. Um, on this one, we need to add. Let's do uh, let's do power on each side because this one is actually going to be our gun. So we'll do power there. We need the dock rail docker. Now I want to put this uh, like this and facing down. Yep, like that. Uh, we'll also go ahead and put our Bobby AI module, which we'll program in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and even, let's, we can even go ahead and build our gun. So we'll put our cannon computer here and our cannon barrels. Okay, so there's our turret. Uh, now if we enter this hit T, then we can get our rail docker. We'll put that in one. And we should be able to right click. Oh, there we go. And now we can't move for some reason. Let's hop out of the ship and see if we can't see where the problem is. Aha, so there's the problem. <clears throat> Maybe, this, this may be our problem, is that we're up against a flat edge. On the ship core, is that right? Is that what our problem is? Okay, so let's undock. And, uh, what's happening? Whoa. Quit moving. Okay, that was strange. Is it because we're on a flat core? Is that really it? Okay, let's try this then. That's our Bobby AI. So let's just do, we'll do two more power like this. And then we'll put our docker back. Same kind of fashion. We'll put our Bobby AI back. Let's see if that's what our problem was. When you hit T, put our docker on our bar, and then we can shoot at this to dock. Okay, now we've got vertical motion and horizontal motion. We've got all degrees of motion now. 
All right, so I guess that's what our problem was. So let's hop out of our turret. There we go. There's our very basic turret, guys. We're awesome at this. Let's hop in the ship core. We'll realign with the system. Um, we have to be facing the shop, though. This ship is exactly far enough away from the shop that if we're not facing it, we can't buy anything. Um, all right, so now we have a turret. It's completely controllable, uh, and we can fly it if we want to and, and manually aim. Or we can activate this Bobby AI module. We'll change this to turret. We want this to aim at... Ooh, we don't want to aim at any because we don't want it to destroy... Let's tell it to aim at missiles. And we need to fire some missiles. Now it won't aim, it won't fire at missiles that are the same faction as us. So we need to go, so let's test, let's shoot some missiles at it. <laughs> uh, so let's hop over here in the phalanx. Uh, we'll deactivate the faction module in it. And launch some missiles in the direction of that turret. You can see the turret orientation has changed since we flew over here. Now my question is, this is kind of why we're testing stuff. Uh, will this turret operate even though we're not in the primary ship it's on? And we did not test to see if it had enough power to shoot, uh, which it should. Let's go ahead and reset faction signature. Shut this. Hop in this. Get in our cockpit. Orient with station. Okay, are we ready? We're just going to fire missiles like that. No, it did not. What if we lock on? Oh, I don't want to destroy it, though. So maybe we have to be in that ship. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's do... We can do this. Uh, do I have any missile tubes? I think I may have some in the construction ship. Which we need a name for this guy, too. We're going to call this one Phalanx. We need a name for this one. Uh, help me think of a name. I uh, I don't have any ideas for this. Um, help me think of a name for this one. Also, another thing we might do is refit this, redesign this ship. I really like this ship and the design of it, but that, that thing with the cockpit really bugs me, and I don't want to like have to reassign all the guns, although that may be what we have to do. Um, to get it to work. Okay, we're looking for missile tubes. My inventory is a freaking wreck here. Okay, here's missile tubes. And I have so many faction models. I'm not sure where those all came from. And at this, also, check this out. Like, I have, what was it that I bought an insane amount of cameras? I don't know how this happened. All of a sudden, I have... Where are the... Where are my cameras? I have something like 400 cameras. Um, okay, but I don't see... Shield drain. I don't see a missile computer. Damage beam. No, let's just buy one. Uh, ship, weapons, missile computer. We'll buy 10 of them. 120... Oh, I can't afford 10. We'll buy 5 of them. Dang it, I can't afford five either. Let's just buy one. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll just put missiles on that ship and then see if <laughs> see if the turret will shoot down our own missiles. Um, we can't really aim them at anything. Well, maybe we can. But uh, we'll give this a shot. So we'll hop into this ship. We'll go into build mode. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, do we have... We, we grabbed the missile tubes, right? Hopefully we have enough power. Uh, I know we have enough power for one. We learned that last episode when we built the phalanx. So let's, um, let's see. Here's my tubes. Cannon computer. Where's the missile computer? It's yellow. Okay. So here's our missile computer. Blunk. And here's our missile tubes. We'll just do three. We don't need a strong missile. We're going to aim it that way, T. Let's assign the missile computer. It automatically does it. Fire missile. Now, our turret didn't respond to that. 
Let's hop out and check our, our module again. Aha, because I didn't click the active for X. I assume that's what we needed to do. So now let's try this again. Fire missile. Nothing happened. Is that because it's our missile? Is there not enough power for this? Does it shoot? Yeah, it shoots. Let's hop out of the turret cannon. Now, as I understand it, if you exit, if you enter the ship core, then you have to re, yeah, you gotta reactivate the turret. Okay, let's try this again. Huh, I thought the turrets would shoot your own missiles if you weren't faction enabled. Maybe if we put a faction block... Oh, I don't have them on me. Maybe if we put a faction block on the turret. These are the important questions, aren't they? Let's, uh, let's try that then. I'm gonna grab a faction block. I'm gonna get... Let's do this. I'm gonna stop... I'm gonna stop recording for a little bit. I'm gonna get this turret to work. And then I'll come back and explain what I did to make it happen. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, I cannot get this turret to shoot at missiles. Uh, I can't get it to shoot at my missiles from this ship, even though I'm not a faction ship. I can't get it to shoot at the missiles off of that ship, even though it's not a faction ship and the turret is. I'm going to shoot a missile right at it and see what happens. Okay, it veered off course a little bit, but it took out the missile bay. It looks like, whoops. <laughs> Even though I had it locked onto the turret, hmm. Uh, but the turret is utterly disappointing and did not defend us in the slightest. We may have to test it on a pirate. Um, so we may have to just proceed as planned and just assume that it works. Ah, I really don't like that, And j but, you know, combat test. Um, so maybe we'll take that turret, dock it to the phalanx on the outside of the shield, and, uh, and try that. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's try that, actually. Maybe, okay, here's another thing. Maybe the turret needs a thruster. Um, I, I heard that the turrets can take power from... Uh, from their from their docking ship, but they have to provide they're basically ships, so they have to get their own thrust and everything Let's put a thruster on it and try one more time uh, To get uh, to get this puppy working so we'll just put a thruster we'll put two thrusters on it I don't know if this is the right answer or not and that destroyed my missile computer, so let's buy a new one And uh, we need to go into build mode on this ship. I don't guess we need to, but it does make it much easier to place weapons. Okay, uh, missile computer. The tubes are already on my bar. Uh, we'll just we'll need to reboot the ship because I hit it with missiles. Oh, I gotta wait for it to reboot. Oh, that sucks. All right, well let's hop out of it. We'll need to reboot th this one as well, maybe? I don't think so, though. It seems to be fine. So if I, uh... Now, is it not shooting down my missiles because I myself am factioned to Barrett's Privateers as well? Um, and maybe that's why, if it sees that I'm shooting the missiles? We may need to just test this... Uh, in combat. We know that the Phalanx can handle a pirate ship... How much longer we got until we can place these these missiles? Uh, we know that the Phalanx can handle a pirate ship, so... Let's try it. No, it still isn't shooting at it. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's outfit the, uh, let's outfit the Phalanx with a, with a small turret. We'll set it to shoot at ships instead of missiles. And then we'll go find a pirate, attack him, and see if our turret uh, protects us any. Aha, okay. A red blip appears upon the radar. Let's find him. 
He's over this way. Oh no, we're, we we passed him. Stop, slow your roll, man. Okay, where is he? Over there. He's this direction. There, there he is. So F, oh nice, okay, so cool. So I had a commenter tell me that you can hit F um, on a target and pull up his uh, kind of stats there. So he's a pirate for sure. So let's check and see if our turrets are going to help us with this. Oh, and there's another one on our six now. We need to hit him with missiles. Oh, I see missiles. And they are not our missiles. Hit, hit. Now, I cannot tell if the turrets are doing anything. They are. They're moving. They're shooting. Yeah. Okay, but our shields are taking damage here. We need to take out this guy first. We'll focus one at a time. Yeah, he's definitely taking some damage and quickly. Oh, uh, I went and rewatched the footage from my last combat experience. And I thought that you could lock on missiles preemptively. And then uh, they would stay locked. But apparently that is not the case. Look, you can see my turrets firing. That's awesome. So the turrets do work. Yeah. Okay, that was a good test. Okay, I'm going to finish off this pirate. We've done combat on camera once. There's, And it was long and drawn out. Uh, so I don't need to do that again um, on camera right now. Um, maybe we'll, if that other guy gets engaged and we, and we have to start doing some multi-enemy fighting, then that could be interesting. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to cut, and when we come back, um, we can figure out how drones are going to work. But the turrets, yeah, this was a good test. It seems, test successful, that's what I like. Yo, oh, missiles. And fire. And we're back to our system. Let's check out the turrets. Um, hmm. Extended straight out. That's interesting. It did that on the way out there, too. I'm not sure why that happened. Maybe it saw something um, as we flew past. This one took a little bit of damage, I think, which is fine. You know, we don't have any hull or shields or anything on it. Let's just replace this cannon barrel. We'll reboot that ship. We may have to... Oh, you know what? Now that I've entered the ship... <laughs> uh, okay, now that we have... Um... Yeah, we're going to have to reassign this. And hop out and turn on our AI module again. Activate. Alright, so then we'll... That works, though. All right, so that was a success. That test was awesome. Uh, I'm so glad that we could figure that out. Turrets apparently are the way to go uh, on larger ships, so um, that was a really successful test. I think we're going to build um, Phalanx Mark II pretty soon. I really like the Phalanx, and I, and I like the operation of it. Ship combat is so fun, but we need it to be a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. We'll incorporate some turrets into our... Uh, into our build the next time. Uh, now we want to figure out drones. So let's build a little drone. Um, we just basically need a ship. We're just going to call this Drome. Dronum? Drone me? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, let's enter the core. We're in build mode here. Uh, so what does a drone need? First of all, uh, it's going to need power for sure. Let's turn off remove mode. And how much power do we want to give this bad boy? Uh, whoops, five blocks of power. That should be definitely enough power. Um, what else does a drone need? A cannon? 
Or I wonder if we could make a salvaging drone. I don't think you can, but... Okay, a cannon. Let's put its cannon like this. Whoops. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, what else does a drone need? A faction module. That's a salvage computer. Uh, there's my faction module. And it also needs a Bobby AI. So we'll put our faction module here and our AI here. And now we have a drone. Oh, it needs thrusters. We'll just give it three thrusters should be enough. Uh, let's give it six. And then uh, we've got enough room to add a little bit more. We could put a hull on it. But this is just a tester, so we don't really care about it if it, if it lives or dies. Let's put a light. <laughs> yeah, now it's lit up, illuminated. Let's put the light on the front. Um, okay, let's... Uh, we want to... Oh, I think I switched the outputs on my, on my guns. We want to make those front ones the output ones. All right, let's activate our faction signature. Let's turn on our AI module. This is a ship. Oh, I, I think I broke it. It's not a turret. It's a ship. Activate. So aim at... We'll have it aim at selected target. There. That's a drone. That's it. Is that it? How can we test this? Um, how could we test this? We don't have like a follow or anything yet for drones. Really, the only way to test it is to tow one along with us and sick it on a pirate, send it after a pirate. Um, do I really want to go pirate hunting again? Yeah, we could do that. I don't know what good one drone is going to do. Especially with no armor on it. But it's more of a proof of concept thing, though, anyway, right? So, all right. So what do we need, then, to uh, to take our drone with us? Uh, we need to be able to dock it. So let's actually, let's remove this light, then. And we need a rail docker. We'll need to put it, like, here. I think that'll work for us. Okay, we need a place for it to dock to as well. So let's go ahead and fly over. Oh man, this drone, this thing is quick. Yeah, that's what I like. Let's orient to station. All right, so we'll dock it on the top of the phalanx for now. Uh, okay, so that'll work. Now, what do we need from the phalanx to allow it to dock? I think. Let's look. Let's see. If we go to general docking, we've got a rail docker. We've got a turret access, but we don't want... Is this what we want? A docking module? I don't think that's what we want. If we just have a, ra a basic rail... As a single block, this module works like a docking module, and you can put more of them together to make a track. Use the rail docker to dock to this block. So let's buy 20 of these. And we'll just put a rail docker, we'll just put it right here. Oh, my inventory is full. Uh, okay, do we have anything we can jettison? There's a placeholder. I don't even know what that is. I want to keep it, though. All right, let's hop over to the construction ship, then. We'll drop off our inventory, and then uh, we can build our docking unit. Now, how are we gonna... Hmm. Once we get there, I guess we'll have to get out, undock the drone, reset the AI. 
I definitely foresee this being a process. Uh, and that's fine. I mean, it's a testing. It doesn't have to be, like, super awesome right off. Oh, my gosh. I'm already out of storage in here. Oh, crap. Do I have any more storage blocks? I do. We're just going to drop pretty much everything. I need to keep these. Okay, but we're going to drop off everything else. Except for my guns. Wait. Okay. I don't know what these guns do. Somebody tell me what the guns do. Because <laughs> I haven't used them yet. I think they mostly affect other astronauts. And uh, I'm in single player world, so there aren't going to be any. All right, so we're going to test the drone as well. Let's. Uh, so what we need to do is place our docker. Um, we're going to put it right here, and hopefully that gives us enough room to dock our drone. Now, does it matter which way we're facing? Uh, I think it does. I think it's going to... Let's see. That's obviously upside down. Um, there we go. There's rails. Like that. Nope, that's sideways. So if we have it facing that way, that should be straight ahead. Okay. Now let's try and dock. Oh my gosh, this ship is so fast. Two, rail docker, and right click. Oh, I think I shot at my ship. Oh, I shot at my ship again. Oh, because I didn't have the docker selected. Alright, so now we're docked. Now the drone is docked, so what I'll have to do, fly out, find some pirates. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. We could have put it, we could have built two. Uh, fly out, find some pirates, undock the drone, and then enter combat and kind of see if it flies around. Cool, let's do it. Aha, we found a pirate. I'm going to get a little closer because I can't see his ship yet. Maybe about 3,000 meters. He's not even showing up on the radar. I don't know how far my radar goes. Okay, we're at 33, 32, 3,100 meters. 29. I still don't see him. Hopefully this isn't the ship we destroyed last time. Look at his shields at zero. 51,000 structural health. 50,000 power. Nope, it's alive. It's okay. Our turrets are attacking. So, what I'm going to do now, uh, let's. If this is risky, but I got to test the, the drone. So, we're going to hop out, um, undock. Wait a minute. What? Am I in the turret? Enter ship core. Undock. Okay, hop out. Where's our Bobby AI? And active. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Now, oh no, we're leaving our ship behind. I don't want that. What happened? Where's our ship? Okay. And our drone is going to fight the pirate for us. That's awesome. We need to head back to our ship. Oh man, it took us so far. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. So we just got to find a better way to undock drones. We'll have to mess with logic and stuff to figure out how the docking works. But we did manage to successfully build a functional drone. It's taking a look at the pirate's health while we're flying towards our ship. It doesn't appear that we're doing much damage to it, but the drone seems to be going to town, man. Look at it over there. Uh, where did it go? Oh, yeah. No, nope. it's flying over there, and the pirate's chasing it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's awesome. That means, uh... Okay, but our ship stopped shooting. I guess the drone chased the pirate away. Um, which is... That's cool. That works. Um, we just want to hop in our ship, and, uh... We'll go to town on this thing, but it appears like... Successful test on the drone. Uh, that's awesome. Um, man, it took me far away from my ship, though. All right, well, let's hop back in the phalanx, and uh, we'll kill this pirate. 
And, oh, oh, it came back. I saw our turrets move. Okay, yep, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. We gotta find this puppy. There it is. Hopefully we can get back. Okay, good. Now we're safe in the ship. Let's hop in the core. We need our, our front-facing cameras. And let's get this guy. Oh, this is awesome. The pirate, if you watch him, he's, like, spinning around and stuff. He can't decide if he wants to attack us or our drone, uh, which is really awesome, actually. Uh, looks like he's going after the drone now. We may have to gain on him a little bit. Let's get our rockets ready. We're about to win, I think. I don't know exactly how much damage we have to do to beat him, but uh, uh, looks like we're getting there. I think we have to take his structural health down to like 50% or something. Um, I haven't noticed what the conditions for victory are. Dude, this drone, man, for having no armor and no shields kind of has some pretty decent staying power, actually. Um, it's fast, yo, and I think that's what's got it, uh, uh, what, what's got it, it uh, it's, it's like biggest advantage is, is that that pirate just cannot keep up with it. Okay, I'm seeing 50s every now and then. I think those are my turrets hitting it. Let's give it a second. Stop shooting and see what the turrets do. Nine, 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 nine. I don't know where the 50s are coming from. The rockets give me hit marks, but they don't tell me how much damage they do. So I'm not sure about that. I've got two rockets with five pods each, so I don't know. It looks like my guns are the ones doing the 50s, but I don't know what I'm hitting to get 50 damage. Uh, they're machine guns. They should only be hitting for like nine and six and stuff. Uh, but whatever, I'll take it. I'm not uh, complaining about doing additional damage. Um, all right, guys. Well, I believe this fight's in the bag. That pirate hasn't even shot us once yet. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if, you, uh, if you have any answers to the questions that I have had uh, throughout the video, please leave your answers in the comments. You guys are doing so awesome. Answer my questions for me. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, that's part of why I can't quit playing this, because you guys are so awesome about providing me with the information I'm looking for. Um, Make sure you like the video if you like it, or uh, or dislike if you didn't, I guess. But no pressure there. If you feel neutral, don't leave anything. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, we did it right as he had... Okay, so right as he hit 50% structural damage is when we won. And there's the loot cloud. It looks like we took out his, his uh, thrusters really quickly there. Um, let's hop out of our ship and go collect our spoils of victory. Uh, I should have enough inventory space to collect his ship, too. Well, this looks like the first pirate ship we took out.